Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today we're going to be playing with Rusmaka Noir. But first, something special for you all, something Christmassy. With pleasure from the Delicate Giants, this is a Christmas song for all of you called Jumping Along Like Santa's Reindeer. Ho, 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 ho. The Delicate Giants would like to say have a happy, happy Christmas in every way. Jumping along like a Santa's reindeer. I got antlers, I got a nose, I got a hooves, and that's the way it goes, yeah. Just a jumping along like a Santa's reindeer. I fly so, I fly too, I'm the dearest thing you've ever seen. I jump left again till I'm really out of sight. Yeah. I jump in along like a Santa's reindeer. Got no listen, let me stop her. They come alive when you're a reindeer jump. <laughs> With lots of tunes about the moon coming up. Hey, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Russ, for sharing that. That'll be premiered later today on the Hippie Metalhead Hippie Show. So if you want to catch the whole thing again there and get a link to see it again, that was Russ, the Delicate Giants. And oh, man, really? It was called Jumping Along Like Santa's Sack. I mean, Santa's Reindeer. Sorry, uh. I keep getting the title wrong. I hope you're all doing well out there. Man, what was going on with Hippie with that torch? Jeez. I think you could say that was torture. And my, what about uh, Ivan Idea's face? What was going on there? <laughs> Alrighty, let's do the usual stuff. We'll get into today's app and all that jazz. Uh, yeah, we've got a Facebook page if you didn't know. 
now you will know. There it is. It is the We All Rise Together Facebook page. Feel free to join. There's lots of stuff that happens there. Also, this is the YouTube channel here at youtube.com. So it's Jade Star. You can like, share, subscribe. Please like the video either now or on your way out or dislike it if you'd have to, but it doesn't count anymore. Um, the show's also telecast daily on the Twitch at twitch.com. TV slash how to web on iOS. Plus, you can always become a patron at patreon.com slash jadestar, where each weekend I master your songs, and soon to be in the new year, we'll be having seminars on making music and uh, video and all this kind of stuff. It'll be a very uh, personalized kind of thing, which is going to be very, very cool. Plus, the show is also broadcast daily in the browser at howtoapponios.com, where you can go to the website and see all the uh, playlists and everything, and, and buy merch and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and check out the gear guide and all that kind of stuff. It's all there on how to app on iOS.com. Let's say hello to the folks in the chat today. Hello, Audible Video with your political stuff. Keep that, keep that off this channel. How dare you? I'll put you in timeout. Wrong channel. Um, hello to Bear. How much can a bear bear? Hello to Thomas Christ. Hello to uh, Joe Glenn. Joe Glenn's music will be played. Joe and Barry tomorrow on the show. Featured artist tomorrow morning. So be here for that. I don't know what's going on tomorrow. I'm hoping I have a new app to look at tomorrow. Who knows? Fingers crossed. I, I think it'll happen. Russ8889. Hello to you. Thanks for sharing the music today. That was very kind of you. And thanks for putting my name in it. You didn't have to do that. I'll pay you later. Uh... Kim Hardenhudson, hello to you. Hope you're doing well. Who else do I see in my magic mirror today, which isn't in front of me? Paying to get. Hello to you, my friend. Uh, I have an idea. Good to see you. Gregory O'Sullivan, hello. Uh, do, 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 do. Man. Ooh, I haven't done this for a while. That was quite refrained. Um, welcome, Dr. Zorders. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, Sai, always effing good to see you too. La la la, la a scroll. I hope I don't miss anybody. Uh, I think I've got most of you here. Uh, Brad, example. Hello, Brad. Hope you're doing well. Hope your foot's doing much better and better than terrible. Because it's the word of the month for Brad. If you don't know Brad, I uh, hurt his foot. He's broken his heel, everybody. He's uh, broken his heel and he's uh, incapacitated at the moment. And he's got two dogs that are shitting everywhere. Happy days. <laughs> and I can almost hear Russ in the background. <laughs> Laughing away like a buffoon. Uh, alrighty, let's do this. I don't really think there's any price drops today. Is there? There's no real change from yesterday, I do believe, and there isn't. So Fab Filter apps are all on sale. Even tied stuff all still on sale. I'm sure over the next week, in the next week, there's going to be a whole lot of apps that are going to drop because it'll be Christmas. And if you don't know, what happens over Christmas with Apple is that they all the price drops come in and then they close the store over Christmas for, I think it's like three days where... It, it could be longer. I think it, it used to be longer. I think it was a week or two it used to be, and they actually freeze the app store, so no prices can go up. So there's no way you can miss out on a bargain. So all that should happen in the next week, I do suggest. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled to this channel, and I will try to let you know all of the, the price drops over Christmas. Uh, as we get closer to Christmas, there definitely will be a show on uh, my top, picks best apps of the year kind of thing uh best sales apps again all that kind of stuff because i'm sure there'll be a heap of them so stay tuned and all that stuff yeah uh today we are looking at the Rusmaker noir by brambos and if you don't know who brambos are they make some really incredible apps really really high quality apps and this is uh absolutely another one of those apps this is one of those apps i've been wanting to get for a long time and I actually purchased it yes I, I did purchase an app folks um, during the Black Friday sale this is the one app that I actually bought it was on sale it's currently $9.99 um, and I'm sure you will see there's a lot of value for that $9.99 that you will get for this because it has a lot of stuff going on that you can do with it especially 
I'm going to say it right now. If you're somebody who's making music, perhaps in GarageBand, and using like auto drummers and stuff like that, or rhythms and stuff, and still maybe not in the right comfort zone to break away from uh, loops in GarageBand, this is the perfect app to start experimenting and creating music uh, and creating bass lines and drums because this is a drum synth and it's it's a lot more than it. it's a control mechanism it's a it's a drum synth and fm synthesizer there's so much to this app it's really incredible and, and the best bit about it is what you're going to see today is have fun with it because if you really just let go with this app and have some fun, you will create some really incredible music or rhythms or, or um, uh, sounds, whatever you want to call them. So to kick off, so it's 10 bucks. I'm going to jump in and play around with some projects that I worked on last night. And the first one I'm just going to mess around with took me about 20 minutes to throw together. And then we'll have a look at the controls, and then we'll look at another project, and then I'll show you how to use it in GarageBand to your uh, to your fullest to get the most out of it because it's a really cool app. Let's open up AUM, and you're going to say that's a big project because it is a big project. But what you will see, hmm. oh no, Sai, Sai's just written in the chat. Fun question mark fun. What, you can have fun making music? <laughs> you know what? You can have fun. Not everything is about getting stuff out on DistroKid, and even though we love DistroKid, and it's good to release your music, but you can have fun with music. So off the bat, look at this. There's a lot going on in this project. Okay, so look at all these down here. So these are all... Uh, so when you, if you've watched the show before, if you know what uh, uh, AUM is all about, you can actually, when you create a track here, when you hit the plus sing sign, you can create an audio track or a MIDI track. These are audio tracks here, that you're looking at now. And this one here with all the ones down the side, these are MIDI tracks. So this is a specific MIDI track and you can control these other tracks with these. So I currently have what? One, two, three, four, five, six of these sitting here controlling these. And in amongst these, I have just Rus Maker Noir by themselves doing things. So I'm just going to kick off and start playing this and bring in a few tracks at a time. And let's see how much fun I had in 20 minutes to make this project. Here we go. Send Liz our love, Russ. Thank you. 
good fun. Awesome stuff. So, look, you can create some incredible stuff with this. And um, as I said, 20 minutes just messing around. A lot of this stuff was absolutely randomized. So, uh, yeah, shall we run through exactly how this works? And we'll come back to this project here in a sec. So we'll clear this. We'll get out of it. Yes, I'm sure. Let's clear it out. And let's have a look at this thing. <coughs> so we'll open it up as uh how should we do it first we'll just open it up as a standalone yeah so just gonna open it up here little search for it and wow there we go there it is and this is the interface here so you've got a step sequencer kind of thing down the bottom here and you can uh, go you've got eight you can see down the bottom here you can actually go up to 16 or look you can go all the way up to whee, 32 so you can go uh pretty far with it just by using these arrows down the bottom we'll bring it back just down to eight for now so you've got a lot of control over that you have with your resolution you can change the time resolution to how you want now when you open it up in a door like GarageBand or like AUM or Cubasis like we have here as an uh, AUV3 uh, remember it syncs to the clock so it's automatically sunk to 120 but you can change the resolution down here. So that is right down the bottom there. You can shuffle. So always good to have a shuffle in here. So we'll, we'll play around with the shuffle a little soon. Um, let's show you the sequencer first, and then we'll have a look at the, some of the sounds and, and what you do with them, yeah? So to actually get a note to make sense, and I'll show you, oh, before we go on, look at this. I've got a new camera, by the way. It's just, 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 just for Christmas. So look at this. It's a much uh, better resolution camera. So, oh look, it's Inception. I can like I can touch myself. Hang on, look at that. I can <laughs> I can pat myself on the head. What the fuck? Let's go full screen. Oh, oh, <laughs> look at that. So we've got a new camera here, which is much better resolution too. So we've got three cameras now working. Uh, let's anyway sidetracked. Sorry about that. Right, so. Now, uh, you'll notice there's these little dots down here at the bottom, yeah? These little dots. So, uh, now think of this as like a, a scale here. So, you can do this. And uh, so, you grab one of these dots and you move it up and uh, you move it left. So, these little balls. So, you got to grab your balls. So, and then when you move left or right, it makes your balls bigger. So you can have like medium, small balls. You can have uh, medium sized balls. Or you can have really large balls uh, for those of you who uh, need to have really large balls. And what, <laughs> what happens with these, if we just hit play now, you can see we're getting So we've got, a, we've got a, a note being played in there. We can go into number five and bring that in. Now we've got a beat happening, so that's nice. And uh, you can uh, do this to your heart's content. You can bring in as many balls as you want and place them randomly. And the, the smaller they are, or well, the larger they are, the, the more of a resounding, larger, heavy hit sound kind of thing. And the smaller they are, so you can hear, you can start creating like rhythms. Yeah, pretty cool. So that's just a basic intro to that. Let's leave that playing and we'll have a talk about all the sounds up here. Because as I mentioned, this is like a, a drum synth. So you can create drums out of this uh, with your, your waveforms and you can create uh, synth or bass sounds, this kind of thing. You've got an FM synth built into here. So you, you basically have two oscillators, one here and one underneath to create these sounds and you actually blend these things in in here so and to the side of each of these knobs you'll see the famous symbols that we all know so a sine wave you've got a saw you've got a square same down here as well yeah so you can change through these and you'll already hear you're getting your different sounds yeah and if I turn this knob, I can get a different sound out of my balls. <laughs> now you've also got a second oscillator down here that you can change as well. Now you'll notice when I turn that then, nothing's really changing. 
because you have these two sections here, this VCO frequency and pitch mod. When the square is checked, we're in the pitch mod, but when I turn it off, now I should be getting So you're able to combine these two oscillators. To start getting some really cool sounds, yeah? All right, let's move along to the next section. We'll come back to this. So you also have an FM synthesis here. And when I turn this up. Pretty cool stuff so you can what's really cool about this is you can build your own sounds you can build snare sounds you can build hi-hat sounds all right uh, underneath in between these two oscillators you've also got this ring like ring modulator and you have an X ring So the sky is the limit for making sounds, but wait, there's more, yeah? Because as we move along to the side here, this is where you blend your sounds. So this section here, I'll just turn it down a little bit. So this, you've got uh, a, we'll cover the drops in a second. So you've got this VCO one, that is your oscillator one, that's controlling this. And down here you have VCO two, which is controlling this. So you'll notice I can pull down the level of the oscillator one, or bring it back in, yeah? Hey, Wi-Fi, what's going on? And this slope button, I just want to explain what this slope button is. I'll just play with it a little bit so you can uh, hear what's going on. And we'll bring in the drop a little bit. You also have a noise section here, so I can add noise to this, and this is how you get things like a snare sound, yeah? See, when I turn this up. We'll come back here and talk a little bit more about this shortly. Over uh, further across here, you have a whole bunch of filters and stuff. So cutoff filters, low pass, high pass. Let's mess around with those. So you've got a filter decay. You've got this grit button. This is really cool. So you can dirty the shit out of that. Listen to that. That's like a dirty nappy. It's like it's being dragged through the mud. You've got an envelope mod, a cutoff. High pass filter, low pass filter, pretty stock standard stuff here. Yeah? Your attack and delay, and decay, delay. <laughs> You've got a boost here at the end and a bit driver to really push that dirty sound. And at the end, you've got a gain here as well. And at any time, if you double click on any of these, they take you back to the kind of beginning, yeah? So you can create virtually anything you want. What's also cool is up the top here, there's this little random dice. And this random dice is specifically for here, this whole section here. So let's just hit it.
So pretty cool stuff. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's stop it. Let's uh, clear this out. So it's really easy. Uh, so we'll clear this out down the bottom here. So these other two sections down the bottom, uh, modify. Whenever you use this modify button, I need to stress this, yeah? Make sure you've saved something. If you've created a, 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 a bunch of sounds and a sequence, and you go in here and change any of this, it there's no real undo, yeah? So make sure before you play around with the modify button that you save anything that you make. Because if I hit empty, that's gone. You can actually use these arrows here to move things along right so if I hit play again we'll just grab a preset for now so back to this modifier I can move these along and you have a random button as well And anytime if you want to clear this out, bang, hit empty and you're good to go. So now you can start drawing things in as you wish. Now you'll notice with the sounds here, if I take this all the way up to, let's try doing something like this. And you'll see, let's just stop that. Once you've got dots uh, beforehand, anything that you add afterwards will give you this little line to align up with it, yeah? To help you see where you've been previously, which is really cool. It's like a little uh, liner thing just to help you out, see where you are. So we'll go in here and just draw like an up and down things just so you can hear how the sounds work. And I'm just making them all one size. So again, just to show you uh, with my finger, I'm just dragging these up and moving left or right to make them larger. It snaps into place exactly. And we got that one there. Get big. So now when we hit play. So also you have a mutate button down here. And again, make sure you save things before you fuck around with these, yeah? You can uh, turn up the note order and it'll start messing around with the note order. You can change the velocities and the pitches. So you'll start to hear some changes going on, yeah? So I'm just going to stop that there just to show you uh, something. I want to save this. So I'm just going to save this as, uh, we'll call it up and down. Up and down. So that's how you save a preset, nice and easy. If you want to go into it, load your presets, you should find your presets in your user patches. Now we'll talk about why there's so many user patches. So there is my up and down sitting in there, which I just saved. Really easy. You've got a bunch of factory presets as well. We'll talk about presets soon. So the reason I just saved that though is I just want to clear this out because I want to give you a, an example of how to make multiple, so multiple sounds using the oscillators because here's, uh, let's empty it first. So the, the deal is with this, um, 
it's made to have multiple instances running of it. So for example, you create a kick drum sound, then you load up one instance of this, like we have here. Then I want to create a snare sound, I would load another noir in here, yeah? So there we go. And then I could duplicate these and make a whole kit. So we'll just duplicate a whole handful of them. And you go along and you make your individual parts of your kit in each one, yeah? But, so in saying that, so we'd have our kick drum here, maybe have some hi-hats in this one that we make from scratch, snare, uh, some uh, random kind of uh, rhythms underneath there, and you could put a bass line in here, yeah? So that's, that's how you build patterns with multiples and because they're really lightweight as well as an AEV3 so you can run many instances of, of them that project I had open at the start I don't know there was like what 16 17 tracks and there was so many of them open plus synth master a whole bunch of things it was only using 32 percent DSP so it's a very lightweight program but what I want to show you here is you can actually achieve um, different so you can can actually split up the oscillator one and oscillator two because as you see here they blend together but i'm going to show you how to split them up so if i turn uh, up at number one here and then take number nine and keep it down the bottom when i hit play on this we'll just get rid of this mutate stuff bring this all back down to zero so we've got no mutation or anything like that. So what you'll hear is, we've got two very different sounds happening. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. So in this section here, this pitch mod, which is what I'm gonna focus on now, this pitch mod, and you'll see this VCO balance. When this is in the middle up here, this is blending both of these oscillators together. But if I take this all the way to the hard right, you're able now to change these. So now we're getting two totally different sounds on the extreme left and right, yeah? How cool is that? So now we could even go like a dinner. And anything in the middle will be a blend. <laughs> Pretty sick, yeah? But if I bring this VCO balance back into the middle, everything's blended again. Now I can go into the, my heart's content for you to mess around with all of these the drops and stuff. That's up, up to you to play with, yeah? We can bring in some noise here. Sick. Let's give it some grit. And again, you can play with the sine waves along here. Pretty sick, yeah? Uh, another thing I want to touch on over here is this last one. So see here, you've got three sine waves on both of these oscillators. But this last one, this is really cool. This is actually, um, it's like a, uh, it's modeled off a, I think it's, it's off a, a drum machine. I can't remember which drum machine. But this particular setting is for creating hi-hats. So if we hit play again. You can actually start shaping your own hi-hats with this sound here.
And you notice when I choose this particular one, this drop disappears, yeah? So uh, also what I want to uh, cover, now I didn't cover the slope. So whenever you look at a, uh, a uh, my brain is going, to, uh, so the slope is the angle of your, uh, <laughs> learning some new stuff. Man, I can't even get my, I can't even think of the words I'm trying to think of. Um, so, <laughs> man, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it last when, I, when my brain can remember what word I'm trying to think of. Envelope is what I'm trying to think of. The envelope. So when you look at an envelope, right, and you see there's a, a, a peak and it, and it normally drops down like a triangle, this slope here, by turning this up, what it basically does is, so it takes the envelope from going triangular straight down, like a, a 90 degree like this, and actually curves it in. It creates a curve, which is something really cool. So you can actually create this slope in here. When we hit play... Anyway, the beautiful thing about this is because I really can't sit here and go into all the, you know, we've covered everything of what everything does here, yeah, basically. I'm going to run through some presets and uh, then we're going to show you it in GarageBand. So what I want to talk about presets first is um, there's a link in the description to uh, Dean from Electrona Sounds. Um, hopefully you're subscribed to Dean. If not, there's a link. Go and subscribe to Dean from Electrona Sounds. He has some an amazing, amazing content. He's a really awesome awesome uh, uh, uh youtube creator and i, I definitely like, tell you to go over and subscribe to his stuff he's got a video and there's a link in my description here which gives you free 147 uh presets for this and in in his video there's a easy uh, description on how to install them so i suggest you go over subscribe to him Check out the video that I've, I've put there. Let him know that I sent you and uh, grab the 147 presets and add them in because I'm going to show you some of them now. They're fucking ace. He has taken a lot of time to do these. So to get to them, once you've installed them, super easy to just install them into your, uh, you just pretty much uh, open them in this. Look at them. Oh, uh, so here's all the patches. Look at them all. Boom. Let's just go through a few and check out some of the stuff. Thank you, Thomas, as always. Nice bit of train work there. So remember, because this has S FM synth in it, you can create bass lines, all that kind of jazz. Now there's way too many for me to go through here. So we'll stop it there. Now what I want to show you is, let's just skip all this, uh, and I, I want to show you how to create a, uh, use a Noir as a MIDI controller. So you create a MIDI here, and we're going to create an audio track as well. So what we're going to do is in this MIDI track here, do a search for Noir. So it's basically a controller, yeah? There we go. So there's Noir loaded as a MIDI. So it's separate than loading it as a as an audio track. And then in here, just for an example, I'm going to load up. Let's just do Synthmaster. Synthmaster 1 or something. Yeah. Boom. And I don't know. We'll, we'll look for a bass line in here. We'll do a quick browse. What have we got? Uh, bass lines. And so now we have a uh, noir set up as a controller for this and how do we set it up we go into the little hamburger icon here and we look for rus maker noir now there's heaps of them here right but we're looking for midi six this number six 
So there it is here, you can see M61. And the more you add to this, because you can add multiple, you can add 20 of them along here. Each one you add will be M61, M62. So if we select that now, whatever pattern I put in here will now control. So let's just go to load a random preset. And that's now controlling this. So it's not only drums, folks. You can control anything with this. So I can create another one here. Another noir. We can add something ridiculous, like a, a, a swarm, just for fun. An, an English horn. All right, what about a double bass? And let's select Rusmaker 2. Then over to Rus Maker, and we'll load in a random preset. And then you can add in, so we've got this going, then we can go in here, load a random preset. Go in here, load another random preset. Let's just go crazy. Go in this one, another random preset. And this last one, let's do it. And we're off. So then we can head into this MIDI controlled one and we can change this to change Synth Master. sick yeah look how quick that was just throwing random shit together so absolutely like i said go over and support uh dean electronic sounds do it leave subscribe go grab that pack because he makes a lot of really great content so and make sure you you leave a comment whatever um let's open up another project i made last night and like what's this one called noir crazy <laughs> this is probably going to be demented uh there's uh, so i'll put on a what's on here oh so I've got like a, what is, I've got I fretless bass happening here. I've got a bunch of rim d'argeres and all noirs. So let's just go. So we've got this bass here at the end. So this one has rim d'argere on it. So this is just a snare I've put in. It's just one little dot for our snare. Whoa. Pretty sick, yeah? 10 bucks. So what I want to do now is jump out. This is still resonating. That's Rim de Gere. Just resonating away there. So I'll clear this out of here. Clear. Goodbye. Go on. All right, so what I want to do now is just open up GarageBand and show you how you can use this in GarageBand. And you can do this the same as Cubasis, every other kind of uh, door that you want to use. I just am using GarageBand for this because... There's a lot of people who use GarageBand and it doesn't get as much love as all the other uh, big channels, apart from Pete who, you know, uh, use Cubasis and stuff like that. 
if you can do it in GarageBand, you can do it even better in Cubasis or whatever. So let's open up GarageBand and I'll show you what I made in here. So I started off with, and I'll, we'll, we'll start another one from scratch. This is just, I picked a random uh, auto beat here in GarageBand. Yeah, nothing too exciting. Now, for those people who aren't used to programming drums, this is where this comes in really handy, yeah? By adding these instances, because there are people out there who may just go and grab a loop instead, which is great. But <laughs> let me just categorize, <laughs> let me just say this categorically. I'm not dissing on loops here, but what's happening more and more with loops is more people are releasing music and using loops. So then you release a song and all of a sudden you get a copyright claim saying you, your song's stealing someone else's because people are using these uh, loops and they're getting claimed because they're using content ID and all this stuff. So this is a great way around using loops, right? And it keeps it super fresh and original. So let's show you by bringing up have we got issues with my stream? Stream went out. Uh, let's see. Everything's good my end. Let's just stop and see if it all catches up. Because um, I'm still live on this end. Are we good? Is everything... Let me check uh, YouTube, see what's happening. Same here. All right, no issues there. Must be where some people are because, yeah, I can see it live and it still seems to be working here. Refresh your browsers, folks. Could just be a glitch. You know what? It was a glitch in the Matrix. Speaking of, has anybody seen the new Matrix um, uh, game? The new, oh, my God, how cool is it, yeah? How cool is it? The new, uh, oh, oh, fuck it. It's amazing. Anyway, so we're back. All right, so... <laughs> The Noir is really cool for adding textures uh, to your basic drum beats if you're not good at making drum beats in GarageBand, yeah? Um, and without using loops. And I'm going to show you. Check this out. Yeah, so who needs who needs fucking loops when you can use noir to do this kind of stuff? So let's let's uh di make these disappear. In fact, what I'll do is I'll jump out of this project. I'll make a duplicate of it. Number two, and then we'll go back in here and uh, delete. It's probably a YouTube issue. What's going on? So we'll delete this. And what I'm going to do here is just change up this beat. So we'll, we'll choose somebody else. We'll choose, who do we got here? Jasper. Let's go off Ronnie. Good old Ronnie. Let's see what he's got going on. Yeah. Cool. Let's add something to this and make it more interesting. So we can add a track and we hit the plus down the bottom and we want to choose audio unit extensions. And then we want to look for Rusmaker Noir R S. Rosemaker Noir. So we add our track. And what I suggest you do is just duplicate a couple of them before you move on. So we got three there. That's cool. And uh, let's do some random stuff. Yeah. So you can go full screen with this. Now, what I need to show you, it is important. We have here disable down the bottom, sequencer disable and sequencer enable. When the light is on, sequencer is enabled. Yeah. So if I hit play, let's hit a, let's do a random patch here. Let's just grab one of these. So it populates and we'll hit play. Sick. Totally random. Listen to that. That's ace.
that has just taken that boring beat uh, and turned it into something absolutely gangster. So how do we bring this in and record it? So we take it back to the start. As you will have noticed, it has synced up to whatever timing you have here in GarageBand, which is currently set at 70, right? So all I need to do is hit record and it'll record all those MIDI notes in. Go. Cool, let's stop that at five there. And now there's our section. We can go and tap this and then we can hit uh, loop. So that's fully looped, ready to go. Now we can jump into our next track. But remember I said about the, let's just jump, stay on this track we were, this first one, jump back into it. And what you need to do after you've recorded in, you need to make sure this is disabled afterwards or it'll keep playing along, right? I'll show you an instance of it in the next track. So now we're on our new track here and we want to go in and pick another random sound. Let's see what this sounds like. We need something a bit more complicated. Whoa. So then we've got another set of sounds here. Let's silence these and hear what that uh, is. So it's just like a punching sound. So we're, we'll record this in. Let's just hit record. Cool. So now uh, if I hit play when we're off this uh, section, you can still hear it. So I need to disable it. So now you notice I hit disable and it's not playing in the space where there's no music. Yeah? Because if, if you, you don't have it disabled, everything will be a mess and you'll get double ups. It's, it's a little bit confusing. So now I can take this and we can add it in to the second half of the song. And now we'll add in a, a third section here. Let's just leave it playing. We'll go in and add a third section. Uh, we'll bring this up full screen. Let's find another preset to mess around with. Cool, that sounds... I don't know if that's going to work or not. But let's do it. And we're going to take this back to the start and we're just going to hit record. We'll just stop that there. Jump out and we'll just leave this as a, as a little short piece that we can just add in. Now, I'm going to go back here and make sure this is disabled because we don't want to hear it when it's not being played. And I'm just going to go back to the other tracks and make sure all of them are disabled. Disabled, good, all good. And this one is disabled as well. So now in playback, we won't hear anything that's not. Uh, so now I can move this in here. I can do a duplicate of this, copy, and bang this in here. So now we've got a section of music and let's play it all together and see how it sounds, yeah?
super easy to make interesting beats to your uh, auto drummers on your garage band without having to use loops and then you're getting the opportunity as well once you've recorded this is to jump in and start messing around with these things so now you have all these patterns here that you can play with yourself and you can add your own things in you can move these around if you want Because once you've recorded these as MIDI tracks within here, you can go and fuck around with them to your heart's content without actually having to use Rootsmaker anymore. Because there you go, you can go in here, edit this one. Let's see, let's just move some random notes around. Even though it's not really changing this one too much. <laughs> let's go in this first one and mess around with this a little bit. Because these are more bassy kind of notes that are happening. What's that? Again. But when you've got melodic notes, you can do this. So let's, uh, you, you get what I'm saying. You can play with yourself. Pretty cool, yeah? Yeah, so um, really easy to use in GarageBand. This is an excellent rhythm maker. Great for, you know, uh, creating uh, synth sounds. You name it, this is an all-round, multi-purpose, super sexual app by Bramboss. Absolute killer app. I think it's really cool. You would have noticed in other shows that I've done, uh, it's always kind of in the background. I've been using it to uh, add texture to drum beats. Even if you've just got a, a, a pretty much a standard drum kit happening, you can go, let's, uh, I'll do that. Let's do this. If we change this drum kit out to, uh, I don't know, just someone... Someone like Kyle, even an acoustic kit. Sick stuff. Folks, it looks like uh, uh, YouTube's having some issues today uh, because everything on my end looks good. Uh, it looks like it's YouTube, so I do apologize. I can't really do much about it at, from this end. It looks like YouTube is having spasms around the world, it seems. So uh, if, if you've missed out on a lot of this today, I'm sure you'll hopefully be able to go back and watch it on the replay. And hopefully the issues won't be in, encoded into the show. Who knows? YouTube's been, uh, I don't know, man. It's a, it's a mess. What can you say? I can't shit on it too much because they are in, they are my employees uh, to this time. But you guys more are actually my employers. Employers. Did I say employees? Anyway, so that is Rusmaker Noir. It is really, really fucking cool. And I suggest if you really want to make some really cool rhythms, you want to jump out of using the all those... Um, uh, loops and shit this is the way to do it all right so i want to go out today with something a little little uh we've started off really high today and had some nice beats to bop around with but i just want to reach out and uh send my uh, my thoughts and my love to the chandler brothers and the entire chandler family uh right now uh they have had a loss in their family a really big one and i just want to reach out and let them know that um, i'm thinking of them and i'm sure everybody here within the community is thinking of the chandler brothers and the entire chandler family at this time so i want to close today's show by playing a song that they only recently just released for their mother who unfortunately has passed away and um this is for their beautiful mum and that they wrote this song for recently so i'll see you all tomorrow remember do the things that make you happy mistakes make you better and we all rise together yeah that's the most important thing and uh, if you come across the chandler brothers let them know you're thinking of them all right just let them just give them a, a thought because uh they're probably doing it tough right now so i want to go out with this song and uh 
I want you all to take care of yourself, yeah? And we'll see you tomorrow for who knows what, yeah? Uh, yeah, let's do it. This is You're Still You by the Chandler Brothers. See you tomorrow.